we'll take what we can get. Let's see if we can crank it up again today. Yesterday we ended up uh, 660. Claim the daily $76 plus the $1, so we're slightly higher than the 11453. But we'll make that our starting spot today plus the 67. So we need to add 67 because I don't want to count that into it. There's a win right there though. All right, let's get our chart up, shall we? Here we go, here we go. So we'll kind of go up to 300, but uh, we'll subtract 76, so $77 from this. And if we don't, I'm not too worried about it. That's just a, an extra. But let's see if we can crank this up again today. Hope everybody had a good Wednesday. It's towards the end of Thursday, so really, this is Friday. So hopefully you're not living for the weekend. Uh, we had a great time at the beach. We drove a long ways. My car has a, I have a Mach-E Mustang electric, has a range of about 290, and we... We got home with about 12 miles left, so <laughs> we really drove. All right, here we go. That's 90. Doing well, doing well. We're going to keep going with the verse here. We normally don't really drive that far, so 99% of the time, I mean, we're driving less than 30 to 60 miles, so the car has more range than than we really need but even when we do drive I rarely drive more than two you know 250 miles and there's plenty of charging stations around so if you about you know if you got similar I am telling you what after I this is my third electric car I other than my truck which I need gas because I need the range to tow travel trailer and stuff if I didn't I would totally get an electric truck Boo yeah yeah, nice, very nice. We're at 135. Let's see if we can keep it going. Again, we're gonna push straight through today, and I would love to do a couple sessions. Oh, just when that dude was doing us three three good ones. So we're gonna push through. I'm not even gonna take a break today. We're gonna see if our luck with new dealers has changed, and we can break that stigma. So far today, our first spin. We haven't been, been hitting that, so let's see if we keep going. If we go back to our chart here, even at our starting, 11,453, okay, we're still up 2,453 at, this is our 18th day, 2,453 bucks up in 18 days. It's not where I need to be or want to be, but it is where we're at. And that's not bad either, right? So I haven't been able to get on, you know, because we've been super busy running around. But I should be here t all tonight and for most of tomorrow. So I'll have a chance to jump on and read from yesterday or the day before the scathing reviews. I can't wait to read those. Already saw some positive, really positive uh, words of support. I love it. I love you guys. Love you guys. Still kind of getting over this cold today, so not feeling the greatest, but feeling better. Yesterday winning and then... Spending the whole day on the road with Mrs. AOB was amazing. There it is again. Look at that. And it was about ready to fall into 8 or 10, which we would have taken either. Okay. We're running this. We are running this. Not even worried about a loss. Not going to play scared anymore. So I did skim through and saw a couple more strategies people play. Love it. I'm going to actually head up to the, the casino here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, look at that. I got a feeling. Woohoo! Not quite the thrill of being down and betting $4,000, but you know, we'll take this feel. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good feeling for a change. Man, we hit this, we hit this one. We're up to 300 in a hurry, right? 
Normally, absolutely recommend brakes. I'm gonna go ahead and push through. We're gonna push through. Okay. Boom. There's our third 315 in five minutes and 28 seconds. Not a bad day's work. Not a bad minute's work. A few minutes of work. All right, all right, all right. We actually stopped by a casino on the way home last night. Again, we did it from the beach last time, had dinner. It was pretty dead in there though, and the they only had one roulette table open and it was busy, so I didn't have a chance to go on. And she was like, you've been playing a lot at home anyway. You don't need to play here, come on. How do I argue with that? That was supposed to be my day with her anyway. 20. Nice. It almost hit that 14. And I thought, oh, our luck is changing. Well, I don't want to say it's changing because it's not going to change. And we got to expect and accept some losses. That's how it goes. Same thing with days. I know those days that we lost some coin seem tragic, I guess, from the outside. But, I mean, they're really not. I've been worse than that. You just got to play through. It's only tragic, I think, if you you make those bets and you're just praying that you don't lose because if you lose, you're done. Then those are bad bets, but we weren't anywhere close to that. So we're all right. And we're going to be making up some tracks the next couple days. No, there's our first loss. That's all right. That's all right. All right, let's see what happens here. We're at 270, this could put us in negative territory and that's all right. If I were played safe, maybe we would drop down to 45, but I'm not playing that way. We're gonna push hard even if this loses right here. That's kind of nice thing about getting up early like this, like we did before, we've done this before, right? Gotten up early and then we're not gonna think like that. Let's go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Now we'll jump back down. 135. It's that first one, that, that double up, you know, that you just want to win the big ones. So at least even if we lose this one, we don't go into negative territory. If we lose this one and we drop down 135, which is still okay, would be up really well for considering we're at eight minute mark. Then it might slow down a little bit because we would have had two out of three spin that were, that lose. And since we're up so much, we're up early, we either might shift our rows, our streets, I mean, but we don't need to. Here we go, here we go. We've had two good dealers that have been been done well for us so far, so no complaints. You know, it's interesting. We were talking about the fully digital roulette table on here. That thing is such a friggin' scam. So even uh, today before I got in, there was some sense because I claimed the daily, which is 76 and some change, plus the $1 daily, and I was playing one cent bets and doubling on losses and I was playing 19 through 36. So those are one to one ratio and you're just slightly under 50%, right? 40, 47 and a half or something. It was 28 losses to like nine wins. I mean, it was so ridiculous. It kept hitting this one to 18 area, just like four to five to one. And I switched to one to 18 and it just started hitting four to five to one on one to on 19 to 36. Good thing I'm betting one cent, you know, cause then you can double, double, it didn't really matter. And I got to an even dollar amount, but ridiculous. So let's go, man, we're crushing it so far. We're at 405. I would like, if, if things keep going, I mean, I would really love, I would really, my goal was not starting today, but I would love to start in uh, at some thousand dollar days. Again, koosh. We are crushing that fourth street. 
Uh, this dude bet a th eleven hundred, a thousand. We don't know what their full bet was, but all right, we're at four fifty. For anyone new here joining, welcome, welcome. I appreciate everybody. I believe we're approaching almost four thousand subscribers. That's amazing. Thank you. Still small. You know, small potatoes compared to pretty much all the other ones on everyone else in there. Ah, okay. It was bound to happen. 315. Hmm. You know, I got a, I don't know if it's true or not. I got a little hanky of a feeling right now, so I'm just going to go down to $45 bets. You know what? Actually, I'm going to clear that. And we're just going to do a repeat at 135. So we're not going to bump up to 270. I'll do a 135 here. And I'll probably keep it at 135 and see if we can get three wins in a row. Or maybe 130, 135, 135, and then bump up to 270. Which would get us right back at this, this valley right here that we're at anyway. Oh, no. Actually, it wouldn't. That would only give us a $90 win. Look at that. 40, 14. I was feeling it. Good call. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause. We're gonna let her spin a couple and see how we come back. We might switch to one through seven. We'll see how it plans out. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're back. There's two spins. She hit two more fourth columns, so we would have done well by it, but that's all right. We're gonna go up to 270. Maybe that's a sign that we should have just played through, but who knows? Who knows? All right, we lose this one. We'd be down, what, 90? Yeah, we'd be down $90 overall. We'll sink down here to 90. Come on now. Okay, we'll take that. Sure doesn't look like a very big bump, does it? <laughs> hmm, what was our peak? 450. I didn't realize we were that high. My memory's short. Looking forward to reading some of the comments. See how you were how some of you are getting on. You were you've been riding along doing your own thing. Some of you've been doing really, really well. I hope that you're still doing well. You continue, continue building your bankroll with your bets. I'm excited to hear about that. And I'll get on Discord this evening and see what's shaking there. Okay, there's another one. Now we're supposed to go a third time, but I think I'm going to bump back down to a $135 bet. So, yeah. And then if we really do well this afternoon, I will do the 27 numbers, my own selection, and we'll play that out and see how well that goes. It's a nice $27 bet for $9 profit. So like I said before, it's kind of the in-between. All right, let's go. Oh man. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. What are we at here? 14 and 4. Man. Just under 4 to 1 ratio of win to loss. So, totally expect the stats to catch up with us there, right? The odds to even out more towards three so I would expect there to be some losses coming up let's just hope we hit them on the the losses come on the lower bets and we win these 270 and above bets oh man nope there's that average coming back there's that average coming back. Mm. 135. We'll go back to 135. 
get a couple wins here. We've only been into it for 15 minutes. That's all right. I don't want to go to 540 just yet. See how this goes. We might switch over to one, two, three streets. We'll see how this play out the next couple of spins. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's hit that a couple times in a row. Hmm. I'm gonna stay right here and I'm gonna bump up to 540 come on now I think by tomorrow I'll be feeling better it just kind of sucks when it's just you're just sapped you're just sapped. Well, I'm glad we didn't switch streets, right? Glad to. So, I'll have a clear head and I can stop having this congestion. It just kind of makes everything a lot less fun. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Risky, I know. The other choice was drop back to 135 and build our mountain again, but... Like I said yesterday, we're gonna push it. We're gonna play a little, little more on the brave side, a little more on the risky side. Nice. All right, that paid off. We're gonna drop down to 135 again now. This will keep our head above water even if we lose and enable us to double up without being at 540 level. I really prefer not to get to a $1,080 bet again and a $2,160 bet again. Let's see how this goes. Okay, okay, okay. Making some tracks again. We're at six and 17, just below the three point, you know, three to one, which is where we expect it to be. So let's see if we can keep it going. Um, I was reading on some of the other comments again, and so I don't know to tell you about the strategy or the bet progressions or any of that, but I would, I mean, there's probably some really good YouTube videos out there I don't have good answers for you on my, my strategy. Like right now what I'm doing is I'm telling you how I actually play when I'm not in video. I play a lot by gut. Um, I, you know, bring it, I bring the bets up and down like I'm doing now. Be willing to bet hard, but be willing to pull it back, you know? All right, we're at the 270. So in instance like this, if I want to go for it, I might bet 270 because we have 270 and take us down to zero, but I'm gonna go ahead because we're at three to one ratio. It could go either way with our ratios. So I'm gonna count that we're gonna keep going up, but I'm not willing to bet 270. We lose here, we still have 135 in 19 minutes. Not bad, 20 minutes for 135 bucks. I mean, everything's you know, relative, right? So yeah, we had 450, that was awesome. Could have stopped. Not gonna do it even if I get there again. Whew, thought that was going in the one. The winds are with us. The winds are with us. Okay, we've hit this one quite a few in a row. One, two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five wins in a row. You know what, we'll, we'll give it one more. I don't expect this one. I would really expect to lose on this one, but we'll see. And again, all superstition. Easter weekend's coming up. I we're not a we're not a religious family, but we appreciate the holidays and getting the family together. This weekend is with my family, the 
the boring folks. So neither one of us are looking forward to it. My my daughter's glad she's glad she's grown, so she doesn't have to come to it. Sorry, you know, school's too far away. <laughs> like I don't even blame her. In fact, I encourage her not to come. <laughs> But hopefully, hopefully for those of you that had family, that you're getting together and have a great day. Weather's supposed to be actually pretty decent in Oregon this coming up weekend, so hopefully it'll be nice. Look at this. Okay. We're making it back. We're making it back. Oof. I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to keep going until we lose, you know, and then... I don't know. This has been good to us. So normally I would switch up, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to ride this gravy train until it doesn't, you know? And I expect to lose here. Come on. We've had one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was our eighth win in a row. 21 and six. Nice. So we're, we're due because it's going to try to keep us right around just below the three to one ratio. The universe is. The universe that hates our guts has that. One member said and I love that there it is there it is okay okay hmm <laughs> you know we're up to 70 I'm gonna go I'm just gonna rebet at 135 that way if we lose we're still at plus 135 If we win, we're at 305. What we need to do is we need to break that 450 ceiling right now. Okay, we'll take that. 18 would have been nice. 22 would have been even nicer, but that's all right. We're going to roll again just at the 45 at the 180 mark or at the 135 mark. Remember, 3 wins to make up for one loss. We're a little bit above three to one ratio right now. I don't know how many of you are still going to that Excel spreadsheet that I posted, but it's, I believe it's totally trashed because people were getting on there and editing it there rather than downloading it, saving it to their local. So for right now, I wouldn't even worry about it. I, I'm not gonna post it again. I went on the Google Docs to see if there was a way I could make it downloadable, but uh, it, it, from what I can see, you can't do it that way. So we'll see. All right, there's two. Yeah. So there's two. One more. One more makes us even. Obviously, if we had bet double and then down, we'd be even now. But that's okay. It's okay. Let's see if we can get back up to 405. I'm glad we stuck with the reverse bets. And if I look at the history here, low, low, high, low, low, high, low, 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 high, high, low, low, low. I mean, I suppose if you follow the winner. Might, might, might not do too bad if you follow the winner playing high, low or red, black. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right here, if you at 11 if you bet black you lose bet red you lose bet black you lose bet red you lose so it doesn't look like much but if you look at this section right here between 11 and to 8 and that's one two three four losses in a row you'd be on your fifth progression so if you bet ten dollars a bet fifth progression 10 20 40 80 that's a hundred and sixty dollar bet just on this little thing and it doesn't look like much so when they tell you you know follow the winner winner losers whatever you want to do it doesn't look like much on the history but that's a that's five progressions right there look at that we're back to 450 let's see you know what i'm gonna do let's play a little safe we're gonna go 45. we're looking for 15 dollars just so we can break that 450. if we lose we're still above 400. 
Seven and 25, we're a couple away from a four to one ratio. We're crushing it on this second day. But like yesterday, I was I would like to get at least around six to seven hundred dollars, um, preferably a thousand coming up. And what I'll do is, if it's there's a loss, good. So we switch down to to forty five, and we lost. Let's double that up. So if I can get up here to my goal right now before I take a break is six hundred. If we can get up to six hundred. What were we down at the most? We were down 180. Isn't that awesome though? You're down 80, we're up 405. You know, that's a $585 profit from down here. So we're like, hey, if we can make that run, we can do it again. So I'm gonna take a break at 600-ish and then I'll come back and grind a little bit uh, to get up to, my goal this evening is to get up to 1,000. I don't. I think maybe I've got some honeydew stuff that she wants me to do. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna go back down to 45. So, on these days, remember, you, these kinda of gotta recharge your batteries because days like this, there are not a lot of them. They're more, the majority of them are grinders and then you're gonna have these days like this and then you're gonna have the days where nothing goes right. But stick with it. I don't know what's happening with our connection. There we go. All right, here we go. My first goal right now is to go back to our spreadsheet, right? And get back up to $300 a day average. That's our first stop. So we gotta get back there. All right, we made it back to 450. Let's see if we can creep ourselves up to 500. If we can get a couple wins here, I'd probably go back to 135 bets. Because right now, 135 bets, we basically need three bets at 135 and then a couple, one or two at the 45, right? That would get, that would get us at 585 and then one more bet at 45 to get us to to 600 so three bets at 135 one bet at 45 at this point so we could get the 45 bet out of the way here there's a one there's the 45 bet out of the way but I'm gonna stay at 45 I like where we're at although in this the next probably one to two weeks I'm gonna play more aggressive I'm also gonna play not fully as aggressive as yesterday when we get up to this amount because anything over 300 is good and like I said on the days that we lost we have a year of this a year of this it's a marathon not a sprint so when you look at the totality of the graph that you need to have and you have these days 3800 bucks loss I guarantee you in the totality of things it's who cares I'm not losing any sleep over it when we're talking about this much bankroll and the amount of money we're, we're our, our goal is for Oh, and there's our first zero. So I'm glad we stuck with the $45 bets. All right, I'm gonna pause since it's zero. I'm gonna let it take a couple spins from here and we'll come back, okay? Okay, we're back. After the zero, she spun a 19, which we would have won, and a two, which we would have lost. So I'm gonna go back in at a 135 bet. We're at 420, that's okay. If we lose here, I'll either play real small for a little bit or take a break, you know, for, for quite a bit and come back at it. Like I said, I'm not feeling great. And so my brain fatigue level <laughs> goes away and my patience goes away pretty quickly and recognizing that's important. So I don't mind being aggressive, but I want to make sure I'm doing it with the, oh yeah. So we're going to take a break. We just busted it. So we're at 285. No biggie deal. Like we're still way up here. We were down here before. And we got a new dealer it's in. So we're going to let him spin a couple. Then we'll be back. All right. Cheers. Okay. We're back. Look it. Look it. After that two. And he rolled all. That's what we needed before. All right. We're going to go up to 
270. He rolled one, two, three, four, four street bets in a row. Where were you my whole life, my man? Not even my whole life. Where were you my last 10 minutes? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see if I almost consider this a first bet, you know, so we're going to try to avoid that. You know what? Let's see if we can get it. Okay, okay. We avoided that. He rolled a six back here too. All right, 375. We're gonna go back to 135. So we lost a 45 and a 135. So that's good. At least we didn't lose a 135 and a 135, so. We bet at 270. We win this one that gets us up down here and then we'd have to win one more. So we need two in a row here to get ourselves back up to the four, 465 mark. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, and no, it was not to be. So much for those nice long runs he had here before. <laughs> That's all right, we're pushing through. We're gonna drop down to a $45 bet. That's all right. Let's go. All right, there's a small win. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep going let's keep going welcome to Hota I think that's how you pronounce it to Hota so if you're watching this day to Hota there you are you'll see yourself down there I really appreciate fellow all in blackies here with us get away from there there we go there's a five okay we survived that here we go I'm gonna go up to 9th Street reverse 135 we're at 270 kind of ping-ponging around where we were last there here right No, that was 180 yeah right here we were last at 270 so we're back right about there we can do it we got this you know, if anything taught us something, one loss, one loss, one, two loss, one loss. We've only had one to two losses in a row, so who knows? Maybe hit it stronger. There we go. There we go. Boy, it just doesn't seem like sometimes we climb up there. Glad to hear you're using the strategy. Hopefully you're doing well. Tejota757. We're all in this together. On this journey, man, whatever your number is. Doesn't matter what the number is. Just have that goal. And I'm a big person believing in visions, you know. So set it. Realize it. I think you really do. Whether you want to call it the universe or whatnot.
Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I do believe in vision. You, you set it in your mind. That's how I've done my entire career with finances, with everything. You kind of, and I just think it motivates you to get to that direction, right? At least it does for me. And if you don't, if you don't visualize it, it's hard to make things materialize if you don't have that vision to push yourself. So I do, I do. And I don't know about you, all you, but I'm one of those people that when I get focused on something, I literally can't get it out of my mind, whether it's building, like I have a big shop and, and I used to work out in the shop and all my gym, all my gym equipment was down in the shop floor. The shop was dusty, it was hot, it was cold. And I just started thinking, what if I, 25% of it, the corner, I framed it up, finished it off, insulated it, sheetrock, heaters, windows, everything. I could put all, you know, r nice thick rubber mats in there. I could put it all in there. I could put a couch in there, a TV in there, like a total man cave, right? I kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it, and then just couldn't get out of my mind, went out there. Took me a couple months, but got it all finished off. It's beautiful. Now I have a place that if I <laughs> want to get out of here, I can go out there and either watch TV or, you know, whatever, read up on stuff or get on my computer or... You know, that's where I get my workouts in. But once I get fixated on it, man, even like buying cars. If I, if I, if I have my vehicle and I even have the premonition or, or the thought of getting a new vehicle, it's all over. I'm getting a new vehicle. <laughs> or boat. I had my boat. It was a nice boat. Then I got just fixated on, man, I'd really love a drift boat because then I could drift down some of the rivers that I do salmon fishing on. Ooh-wee, 495, come on, come on. We're on a run, my man. We are on a run. Okay, I said I would like to get up to 600, then I'm gonna call it for a couple hours. I actually still have to go get my friggin' workout in tonight. I try to get them early in the morning, but I've just not been feeling well. And I've been debating whether I should even work out when I'm kind of sick, which I normally say no, but I feel like I gotta move my move myself a little bit. Um, 540. All right, the question is, can we make it all the way through without a loss? <laughs> One more win at this level, we're at 585 then luckily we can drop down to 45. So this is the real, this is the real one. This is the one we wanna get. Not that we don't wanna get the 45er, but we do. Anyway, so I'll break off, go get refreshed, get a light workout in, move around a little bit more than I have been moving today. Oh, see, curses. We're gonna drop down to 45 and get that one out of the way. That way if we lose this one, we're all right. And go forth. I don't mean to snub any of you that are offering your, your um, strategies, it's just, I've been using this one. This has my, been my go-to for many, many years and it's always overall treated me right. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Not that we shouldn't be learning other other things. Maybe here in a little bit, we'll jump into the other server and try the, try the five streets again. Okay, there's a $45 one. We're gonna go a second time on this one. We're gonna go a second time at this one. I like where we're at. I definitely wanna get back up here. But looking at the history, on one hand, I was like, we haven't lost. We've only lost one, two, one, two, we one, two. We did lose three in a row here. So that was here when I dropped back down to a $45 bet instead of going up to a 540. So that really saved us there. Okay, look at this. We're, con we're, we're cooking up a little bit. 
Let's see what a 135 bet can do for us. If we lose this, we're at a 300 even, which is our daily minimum anyway. So not too bad, not too bad. Hopefully we can get this. And then we'd like to maybe double it up after this one. So we made 30 bucks back. So if we double, if we win this one and double, we'll be ahead. Ah, sons of gun, okay. You know what, we're gonna see if we can push through. I'm taking a big risk here and that's okay. Taking a risk here. 270 would be up 30, but at least we're not in the hole with that one. I'm gonna push through here now. Could be the end of the, begin the beginning of the end. <laughs> but that's what makes this exciting, especially for you all. Okay, we'll take it. All right, we're going to leave it up at 270. You know what I like? One of the things I love most about Mrs. AOB is she loves to drive. And by drive, I mean actually drive the vehicle. And she's a good driver. She's actually a bit of a race car driver. So, but it's nice because we took a long trip yesterday and I drove the first half of the way and then she's she wanted to drive the rest. And that's great. Then I can kick back, put my socks up on the dash and relax. I, I personally, I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't like driving. I don't mind going on trips and stuff, but the driving part isn't, I just don't like driving. So when people tell me, runners who, I don't understand runners. I think, I'm sorry to put you down, but I feel like you have a little something wrong with you. I don't even, they'll say, yeah, I mean, especially like marathon runners. I don't even like to drive 26 miles. You want to run it? Okay. All right. What we were, what our highest was 540. We're at 480. Okay. Let's see if Shanky can help us out here. Let's see if the let's see if we can get some. I'm sort of tempted if we get this one and get a little over 500 to take our break at this point rather than trying to push through, but we'll see how we do here. All right, 525. What say you all? I say go. Roulette is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> when you play like I do sometimes, a little bit crazy. I play sort of like the women I, I, I loved Loved until Mrs. AOB, and she's that way too a little bit. The women I love today, right? Just enough crazy that it's fun. Not, not stand over you while you're sleeping with a knife in their hand crazy, but just enough crazy. Mother Shanky, come on, brother. All right, let's go again. Ah! Let's see, 13, 30, 33. Maybe we go one, three, four. Yeah, one, three, four might be good. I mean, we haven't hit that second street in the dozens in a while, right? 16, 17, 18 haven't hit. Four, five, six hasn't hit. Right? I mean, it could either mean it's not gonna hit or it's gonna start hitting like crazy as soon as we change, I don't know. But I feel like our second third and fourth street our time of having those crushing those are up but not yet all right 480 let's drop it down and see if we can do this or is that time up outside of this one big fall 
We've never lost more than twice in a row, so. So maybe we do just push forth and double up. But we're already at 480. I don't want to get too crazy with it and put us in the hole too hard. Dope! I think our time is up on this. Look at that. Man alive. Let's go for 45, 134. This would leave us at 300. Leave us at 300. I have no qualms about leaving it here at 300. 300, we've been playing for 46 minutes. So if we ended the day, if we were, if we were normally, if we were at our target, you know, 46, minutes to get us to our 300 <laughs> awesome sauce look at that all right so you're saying hey Brent you went from a $45 loss to now you're playing 270 yep sometimes it's just I go with my gut on what I'm gonna do sometimes it's just taking a risk you know, oh, that's a really slow spin. Wasn't sure that was gonna get three times around, but it did. Okay. Okay, 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 we're at 390. Hmm. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. See if we can grab another. This would get us to 480. Yeah, I love when you see these very symmetrical win losses. <laughs> All right, that would get us back up to this peak right here. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can cool our jets a little. go back down to a 135. And let's hope we can push through that ceiling again. I really would love to break at 600. The nice thing at 600 is it puts us about 400 away. That way when I come back this evening, it's a lot easier to play $45 bets and do a, you know, a bunch of hit and run short sessions for 30 to 60 bucks. Yes. All right. Now this is where we stall out, right? This is where we stall out or just a little bit more than that one, right? Five, 540 was, has been our highest. So we could get up here to 570 and that would leave us 30 away. We drop it down to 45 and try to hit two wins at $45 for 15 profit each. So let's see if Shanky can get us over this hump this time and get us out of the 135 bet range. That's really what my goal is all the time is get out of those higher bet ranges whenever you can. Okay. Mm. We're doing it. 570. All right, 134 at 45. Good job, Tahota. I saw you on the winner board there. We'll plug this in when we get to get to around 600. We'll plug this new balance in and see where we're at which should be almost 600 exactly over where we started, right? <laughs> Ugh. Well, at least it was only 45, right? At least it was only 45. So we can 
we can accept that. Um, it's either late in getting that recording. Yeah, it's late, right? Yeah, it's not showing us a loss. So we can't rely on that anymore. So we're down 45 plus 30, right? So we need to win 75 bucks to get us a six. Okay, there's 30 bucks. Whoa, what happened? All right, at least they gave us the win on that. I was afraid it, was, it wiped us out and wasn't gonna give it to us. Oh, but our favorites disappeared. Okay, that was a $90 one, right? Yeah, that was a $90 one, so we're brought, dropped back down to 45. We need, yeah, we need two more wins. Or do we need three more wins because we lost 45? No, we need, yeah, we need two more, three more wins, yeah. 31, okay, there we go. 12, 1, 1, 4. Let's make sure. My math has not been great lately. Ooh, we're up 661, is that right? Well, I don't know how that happened. We'll take it. We're up 660. 12, 1, 1, 4. Yeah, that's where we're at. Up 61, even if we are here at 12069. <coughs> Excuse me. We're up 616, even if we lose this one. But we won this one. 12129. Oops. All right, we're up 676 for the day. I'm going to call it a break. You know what? Let's get up to 700. I know. This is where the shit always goes downhill, right? <laughs> 676, though. Come on. We win one more at the 45. I'll drop it down to $9 bets for three more, right? Because 676. That gets us a 691 if we win this one, and then we are nine dollars away, and we'll we'll bet nine dollar bet. So let's hope we can get this one. We did, we did. Look at that. Now we can drop down to nine dollar bets. We are, for the most part, we're out of the danger zone. You know. Sorry, that's from uh, I don't know if any of you watch Archer, but he's doing the highway to the danger zone. He's like danger zone. I don't watch a lot of the cartoons, but there's a couple of the adult ones, and the Archer is probably the one that's just funny as. I'm trying to watch my language, but I think if I say it silently, but I mouth the word, that's not the same as saying it, right? Yet you still get the message loud and clear. I like that. All right, we need three of these. There's one. Job to Hota. I see you up there on the leaderboard again. All right. Another kind of cool thing was to get to seven hundred dollars and just call it a day. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I don't know. I was gonna say maybe it's because I claimed the seventy-six dollars and didn't update the spreadsheet correctly. But I don't think we were up by seventy-six dollars. We'll see. So that I don't think that's right. There's a loss.
Okay, there's one. That almost gets us back to even. Let's go back here. Let's see, 12144. 12144. We're at 691. Okay, so we need three wins from here. All right, we need three more wins. Yep. There's a win. That's great. Oh man. Twelve one three two. Hmm. I didn't really mean to bet double again, but whatever. Well, I appreciate Coach Mustache. Showtime. Hope you guys are gonna kick ass today. Yes, there we go. Does that get us there? 12, 1, 5, 6. 703. We are out. We'll be back later and see if we can crank this thing up to a thou today. That's what we're trying to get is a thousand dollar days, get a couple of these. All right, we'll be back. Cheers. Okay, we're back. Second evening session. Let's see. When we left off, we left off with a balance of 12,156. I added our daily bonus, which I thought had been done. Anyway, we are at, I thought we were at 603. We're actually at 703 after our daily bonus and whatnot. So our last balance was 12,156 at the end of the last session. It's still 12,156. And we're off to a great start again as usual <laughs> so let's go we're at 703 minus this let's see if we can take this bad boy up to a thousand as usual the curse of the first spin we're doing great today no matter what so if you come back here if we were to left off leave off right where we're at our average daily remember we want to get up to 300 we're up to 175 already this was like I believe it was hundred and four Roughly after that horrendous day two days ago, we're up to 175. We'll get it back up to 300 here shortly, so no concern there. Let's see how we can do for the rest of the evening. If we can get this, get a quick 300 knocked out and I can be done for the night. There we go, there's one. Apologies for the cold. Hopefully uh, it's over tomorrow or it's a lot better. It's taking a little of the oomph. Ooh, someone up there, 1.43. $1,430, good for them. I love seeing those big numbers. Any who's? Really hoping to finish today a thousand and then tomorrow's Friday. I don't know how much time, depends on what uh, Mrs. AOB, what she wants to do for the evening. If we're just gonna hang out. I mean, we had a pretty big day yesterday so we probably will just hang out but I've been kind of going, so I'll probably go down and spend a whole evening with my folks. I mean, I'm in and out down there. Ugh. No. All right. That's that's being dumb right now. So I'm not going to be stubborn. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to go reverse because that's what we were doing earlier. Maybe that's what the casino gods are saying, you know, rent. Listen to us. So we'll see if we can get going on here. Okay. We'd love to start switching up some of our play styles if we can get ahead tonight. If we can get up to 300 in a hurry, we'd love to go and uh, try some other stuff. 
All right, there's one. We gotta stay at this level, remember, just to break even. So, always kind of sucky when you get to the second level that you have to stay up high longer, but that's how it goes. Anyway, I'm thinking about going to Vegas here coming up. It's already March. It's almost April, right? We're March 28th already. So Vegas is start warming up. So usually I like April or May, late April, early May before it gets too hot down there. Go down there and my favorite pool, I think I told you this at the very beginning, is the MGM Grand. To me, has the nicest pool layouts. They've got like five or six pools and they're pretty spacious so you can get away from kids okay there we go we're back we're back good thing we switched up huh good thing we didn't stay stubborn with first second third street let's see if we can keep it going all right our target here is three hundred dollars let's see if we can do this if we struggle if it's a little tough sledding i'll stop at a hundred come back hundred come back hundred but i'm hoping we can do what we did earlier get three hundred Maybe get a little more and then play something different for just a little bit. And I would like to go over to the five double streets and try. <laughs> I haven't played that for a while. I like going over there and doing that. Now, if I knew I were, I was definitely going to go straight through, like play balls to the wall, I would definitely start at that other server because it has high limits. I mean, we're stuck here. The most we'll be able to bet is when we go up to the uh, 4,000 level bet, which I mean, that's hopefully we're not going past that, but it can happen. All right. Look at that. Ooh, I left it on a double bet. Didn't mean to. So that was nice. So it jumped us up to 90 automatically. So let's bump back down. So yeah, look at that 90 bucks. Let's go up and take a look at our VIP status. We're at 77.46 towards our platinum three, our rake back for today. We're at a whopping 1528 and we claimed our reload just a few hours ago so we won't get that till sometime tomorrow so let's let me keep going someone commented I'm sorry if I forgot your user your your member name but about yeah wow the the casinos in or in the United States still allow smoking indoors and absolutely I'm actually surprised if you're from Europe or whatever that you're saying they don't because when I've been to Europe, it seems like everybody smokes over there, but well, that's just me, which is funny for Europe, right? Because they have these amazingly really good restrictions on food and all the crap that you can put on it. So they have really good regulations about the type of food you, you know, they're, they're much, they're much tougher than our FDA, which I think is really just baloney our FDA no pun intended but they allow a bunch of crap through it's you know who's got money but so in Europe you have all this high quality stuff same with New Zealand and uh, Australia I really love those countries but then in, in, in Europe it seems like they all smoke I'm like does it really matter at that point <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to be a dumb American I love Europe I've been there I've taken my daughter there it's it's just amazing over there, especially the architecture. But especially if you go to if you go to Amsterdam, and I love it over there. Man, you really got to watch out for the bikes. It's true. <laughs> I mean, I love that they're all on bikes, but it's crazy. You're not going to get hit by a car. You're going to get hit by a bike. All right, let's go. We're at 180 already. Come on, wouldn't this be great? We need these easy days so I can get rested up. Yes, look at that. This continuing on with this fourth street. This is exciting. Look at that. We're at 225 already. That's what we're talking about. Who is this kid? Damon. Oh, I remember Damon. I think didn't he gave us a tough time last time, didn't he? And I don't mean literally. Sorry, Damon. It's the table. It's the wheel. It's all random. All right, 225. If we can get one more, I'd put us at 270. Then I can drop us down, which would be nice. Get us out of the 130. Get us down. This is always the problem, child, right here. This spin. <laughs> Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Gosh. 
All right, we're gonna drop down to 45 and see if we can get two wins. That would give us a thousand dollar day. We're at it for eight minutes. I don't remember how long we were at it last time. Maybe a, an hour. I don't. I don't know if it went that long, but maybe an hour. We could get up to a thousand in an hour and ten minutes here if everything goes well. If it goes well, I might do a couple extra spins, but we may just go and try some of these with one dollar units. See how far we can get betting the second 12 and the second column and increasing one unit upon every loss, every loss and see what see what happens with that. Look at that. I mean, we're right now we're just killing it. So I wish I could answer more questions or get I just, I just haven't been on the comments and I haven't been on Discord at all, so I don't have a lot of awesomeness to respond to. Basically hearing my own voice. The good news about this is with doing this every day is the family knows I have to do these videos every day, although I didn't tell them that I'd already passed the daily goal. Mrs. AOB is meeting with brother and sister and I'm like, you know, I really got that video I got to finish unless you want me to work until 2 a.m. again. Okay, you can stay. <laughs> yeah, damn right. All right, we're at 300. 10 wins, two losses. Do I dare push it to give us a little cushion? I'm going to push it, <clears throat> at least with the 45. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I'm going to go nine street. I'm going to go only nine bucks. See if we win three, three bucks, get a couple of those wins, give us some cushion for this next strategy we're going to play. Randall's system. We'll see how it rolls. And then, you know what? Maybe we'll do sort of, I don't remember what it was called, but you play the one, two split, the six, five split, the eight, seven split. You, you use the play split back and forth. And then whatever that unit is, you put two units on the two to one, this set, second. All right, there we go. Big old three dollars. Sort of wish I, I feel like I should go ahead and play the 45s. Huh. But if we get a loss here, then we're only down nine bucks. Had a pop. Maybe we'll triple up on losses when we're only playing nine. Because I would like to get like an extra 50 bucks to play this next system. So you'll have to put $12. If you're going to play one unit here plus two, it's 14. And I want to say they put one unit on the 0-2 split, but I, I can't recall. Well, well, there's a loss. Good thing we didn't go crazy. We're going to go in plus... Oops, good thing we didn't do that. All right, we'll triple up. We're in for 27. See what happens. Let's see, 27, six, five is a loss, 21, 22 is loss, six, Okay, or maybe we'll play the 27 numbers first. Gosh, I'm bouncing around all over, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go play the dollar We'll play Randall's system. I shouldn't say that with such. Look at that, two in a row. All right, people. 54, I'm gonna go up to 108. I'm gonna crush this insurrection so we can get on with it. But one way or another up here on the wins and losses, you don't keep that forever, it catches up. So I wanna get out of this strategy, take our thousand dollar, I mean, right now it wouldn't be sad if we stopped, right? We're at $967 plus the three, we're actually at 970 because we ended up 703, which granted is counting the $76 daily bonus plus the $1 so 77, so. 
Okay, okay, okay. What does that take us up to? All right, we're back to 303. You know, I'm going to go here again and see if we can get a couple 15 wins, $15 wins. Get us, give us some cushion for the next system coming up. We're at 13 minutes on this second session. I think I spoke about it a while back, but from what I understand, you know, now, well, when I went down to Vegas last time in December, they went ahead and let me take pictures of the table. I'll actually put that image. I was showing, I, I took some pictures when I was placing $5,000 bets on the high limit table. And I, and I said, can I take pictures or video? And they were like, yeah, you can, as long as you don't show the dealer or the table. Ooh, look at that. See, it missed one here. So I had heard that you can also live stream. That would be fun. So I think they said you just have to check with the table first. And that would be fun to be able to go down there and live stream, especially if at the end of the year we're able to have some sort of get together in Vegas. Or even before the end of the year. Let's say we're doing well. And a bunch just want to meet down there for a couple nights and we weren't able to live stream it. That would be, that would be amazing. All right, look at that. 333, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop down to one, and we're gonna play like this. One unit on each, going up one unit on every loss. So we're at 333, let's just remember 333, that's easy. We wanna stay above 300 to protect our 1,000. Well, actually, we had a 703, so we can go down to 297 technically, but let's just make it an easy 300 and see. With a $33 bankroll betting $1 units, how far we can go with this system. And that'll kind of tell us maybe if you were to play $10 units, how much you would need, right? So that would be the equivalent of $330. So there's a loss. So for the first one, we're going to double up. And we'll see what happens. So if you were to play $1 units at $33, $10 units, the equivalent would be $330. And then you can double it if you wanted to go to $20 units or whatever. So we'll see. Should be able to go quite a ways when we're doing just up one unit. And then I believe you have to keep playing at that level until you get back to session profit. Or maybe you start stepping down one after every win, I don't know. Oh, look at that, two in a row. Going up to $3. It's pretty mundane when we're only playing with $1, right? I imagine you're watching this. This is pretty boring because there's nothing exciting. <laughs> I mean, you're only losing a couple of dollars per spin, but. It's, an, it's a good way to test out this system. And it's not fair, again, fair notice, it's not fair to play it once and condemn it or consider it the holy grail. I don't even think playing it for, as other people have said, there, is, there have been times where I've taken a strategy and I've played it and won three or four of my first times and done really well. And I said, this is a friggin' ATM. Wow, we're hitting everywhere around it. And you think you've you've just found the holy grail. <laughs> and, then, and then after those first couple, it just goes sideways. And I don't know, earlier on what happened to me is I would try this strategy. It would do well, and then it would crash really bad. I mean, not just like crash once in a while, but it just was not. I couldn't even, after the first couple that I got excited with, I couldn't win on a regular basis. Then I would try a different one that you either see on CEG or... Roulette master, someone's doing a different one, and you try that one, and it seems pretty decent at first, and then it crashes. And the problem is, is you start getting maybe four or five of these strategies, and then you go in and you start playing one, and after a couple spins, it doesn't well, doesn't do well. Well, at least there's a a win of four dollars right there, so we're still below. So we're gonna rebet, 
And what happened to me is I started getting and I started playing with my own and creating my own strats, you know, which were basically not mine. They were just, you're just taking something that's out there and morphing it into a different way, but it's still covering the same way. It, it really, it doesn't matter. But you get too many under your belt. And I found for me when I go in and I have too many options, you start playing one and it doesn't hit right away and you switch automatically. And then that one doesn't play and you start bouncing back and forth and nothing's going right because you never get a chance for anything to settle. That's why over time I finally settled on this. Come on, boy. They really don't like this. Uh, they don't really like this set, second column, second dozen for us right now, do they? But as shown, I guess if you hit these jackpot numbers, 14, 17, 20, 23, that can catch you up pretty quickly, huh? Anyway, do what you do you, but I found that too many, I just tend to bounce around. Same thing with you start switching your streets around. Unless you have a methodical reason that you're just automatically switch, switching the streets every third spin or how a lot of people propose this or that, I think that's okay because then you don't get in your head. I think if you just start chasing... Oh my gosh, look at this. It was terrible. I don't even know if that reflected up here correctly. Anyway, that's just how I feel it. So I like, over the years, the nine streets have worked out the best for me. I like that, in this case, Right now, we're really hoping for these four numbers to show. I don't like hoping on four numbers. I really don't. I don't like wishing on a jackpot number to save us. I like going, all I gotta do is hit one of the 27. Now granted, in this case, I mean, your risk is a lot lower. Well, we are playing with one, but even if we were playing with $10 units. So we're gonna stay there at six. But I mean, right now we would be, if we were playing at $10 units, we'd be up uh, $16.60. This would be a $120 bet. And hoping that it's going to hit 14 17 20 23 That would, as if this thing keeps going up, I would start getting really nervous. But I guess you're going, it can go pretty high and all I need is one hit on the 14 17 20 23 And it's probably not as important. You know, I'd play through dealer changes on a strat like this. Because we have not been hitting well, so maybe she's going to come in and hit that second dozen, second column more. Okay, there's a bingo number right there. What does it get us to? We were at 333. All right, we're at 337. If we were playing $10 units, we'd be up 40 bucks. Okay, I'll play it a couple more times. Let's just give it another shot here. I would like to either play V28 or we'll play the split, the one that splits. But that takes uh, $14. And I, can't, I think we do cover the zero and the two for one unit. Oh, and I'll show you another one that I played before. That's actually, it's a good grinder system if you want to go to a table that has a limit that you don't want to play a lot, but let's say it has a 10 or $15 limit and you want to be able to get just into it. I'll show you that one. I don't mind that one. I think it's pretty good actually. It's I've done pretty decent on it as far as just, if you're looking to sit down at a table, especially in Vegas and get some free drinks and just maintain all night, I'll kind of describe what it looks like, but you, you play a, a double street, a line, plus you play a corner attached to that line. It doesn't matter which corner you pick. Plus you put one unit on the street, the double street, the street, the double street, all the way through. And then you repeat on this side with two units on whichever one of these street, double streets you want. And then a corner that's attached to that double street but not right in the middle of that double street. And I'll show you what I mean. Rough going. I'd almost want to put, instead of this middle, move it up to a first or third based on what it's hitting. The nice one about this one is, man, is it so easy to place bets, right? You got two bets you're basically placing. That's it. If I were sitting at a table, what I would do is when you have your 
bets here, and let's say you have three and three units, I would I would just automatically be locking and loading my next progression. So I'd put four and four in front of me just so you don't forget. Because when they rake this all in, you may go, unless you have a pencil and a paper. I, I don't bring a pencil and paper to the table. My systems are really rudimentary basic ones that don't need it. So I would just put four and four and have it ready to go. All right, let's see what we got here. Another loser. But as we showed last time, it only takes one win to get us back going. So we'll play this until we break even or until we get a win. That takes us in. We'll play a little bit. This is kind of, I can't see this as being too exciting for you out there. Then maybe we'll jump in either to 27 numbers or V28 or, you know what, for real quick, I'll just show you the ones that I was playing. And that's great because you can play it with dollar units. And I believe it's 11, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. Oh, I remember how it goes. Okay, there, there's a break even or a, gets us one, four dollars up. Okay, I remember it is. It's one unit on in the in the in the middle dozen, right? You're putting one unit on each of the streets, which you could double up with a double unit if you want. And then, in addition to this two center streets, you're putting an extra unit there. So a faster way of doing that would be one, two, three, four. You put four units here and one unit right here. But you can't do that in a in a real in a brick and mortar casino because this outside will have a minimum of at least five and you can't put four here. So this one gets you past this outside unit. Okay, we're at 3033, we're just gonna stick at it. So hopefully that made sense to everybody. So I haven't played this in a while, but that's why. If you're gonna put one, two, three, four, yeah, you could put four here, but if the table minimum is five or ten dollars, you're not going to be able to play it that way. That's why this is nice, is because you're playing all inside and it's eleven dollars. If you're going to a fifteen dollar table, you can double that up and you're playing twenty two dollars to get to a fifteen dollar table. If you're going to a twenty five min table, you could do thirty three dollars, which is six units here, two, 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 right? Or yeah. Uh, 10. Well, that sucked. All right, let's keep rolling till we are up at five each. It'll make sense when I do it. But there's that, those are great ways to get around table minimums. Another good reason that one of the best things for playing five double streets, you can go to a casino that has a $25 table minimum, put five, 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 five. You're playing 25 and you have a fairly safe bet and you're getting past that $25 table minimums unless you want to do, your, unless you have a $25 way of playing the individual numbers that you like. But it's just a super easy way to sit down. You just give them, you just ask for a couple hundred dollars in nickels and you just put $5 there. And if you're, if you play it pretty smart and slow, you can just play all night on that. You don't have to necessarily double or triple up. You can maybe double up at the max. I played at, yeah, one night I played, I think I told you this, I played for a long time on five double streets. And I, for the most part, I think I made a little bit, but I walked out with nothing. But it helped a little bit with my tier points. When they see you only putting 25 bucks down, you're not going to get jack shit for tier points. They're going to look at your average bet. So most casinos, the way they determine your tier points... They take your average bet size, multiply the time that you were there, okay? So at least at the MGM and at the local casinos, that's what they do. And so you'll see the pit boss coming around or one of the inside managers and they'll come. You'll see they have a little tablet there, right? And you'll see that between spins, and a lot of them are really good about coming and checking almost every single spin, You'll see them looking at the table and on this tablet on the dealer side, you'll see them going like this. And what they are is they have your the players on the other side and they're putting down what they see as your bet. So it's very important if you're betting, let's say, when I go and I play and I'm betting, let's say, 50 bucks a spin. And then I start jumping my bets up. When the, when the boss comes over 
or the, the pit managers coming over, I make sure I let them know, hey, and then throughout the evening, I ask them, what do you have for my average bet? And they'll tell you, and you say, I'm sorry, I've been betting way more than that. And they'll say, well, what do you think you've been playing? And I'll be like, I know I've been playing, okay. So there we go, we hit the bonsai, we're at 344, we started at 333, we're up 11 bucks. Not bad. Uh, let's play quick, because we're out of time, we'll play V28. I go the top two top, but you can play any of the corners you want as long as they don't overlap. So I believe they normally play this one, the 26, 28 here, here. So you form this V, I don't know, but you could go down, up, you could go up, down, whatever. You can choose both bottom. If you find that you think that the second and third, the first and second row are hitting, column are hitting a lot, you can play down there. So let's see, we're at 344, let's see how we do. Okay, so for every hit, you win two units. Whatever unit you put there, you win two. Okay, so it's 28 numbers instead of 27 numbers. It takes you three and a half spins to recover using the same bet versus three when you play 27. Really pretty much. The nice thing about it is it's super simple to place your bets, super easy to do, super easy to move them if you want to change here. You can move this dozen, doesn't have to be in the middle. You could put it if you find you're hitting a lot in one dozen, move this one to that dozen because then you're covering instead of having any exposure in that dozen, like these two dozens over here, they're exposed over here. Move this one if you feel like it's hitting over there a little bit more, like we just hit. So on this one, when I play this, I double up on losses just like on the 27. And for me, when you hit up here, you can't hit here and then go back down and break even. You have to stay up here for twice because it's three and a half spins. It's three and a half to one ratio. So you have to, so this is the kind of the risk of having that, just that one extra number of coverage. I've done, I've had nights where I've just come and crushed this one and I've had nights where after a few spins, it's, and then you start moving these around and you're just chasing losses, but that's with any system, I suppose. Anyway, I've used it on and off, and I've just never really had consistent luck with it, so I stopped using it. All right, that's nice. 17, anything in the second dozen's a winner. So, we're going to go ahead and stay up here. And when we win this, this will break us even plus give us one unit uh, right so this is two so this is gonna win us four dollars we win this twice that's eight dollars our first bet was seven so we're gonna win back at what we lost plus one dollar plus one unit so we'll see how we do this over I don't know maybe let's give ten spins and then we'll, I'll show you that one down here but again these are pretty good to, to beat up the the table minimums. so we hit a five that's awesome Keep playing. So we are at 344. We're up three bucks. See how this does. Now the last one we played, what? That got us eleven dollars. So considering we started with a two dollar bet, one and one, that's pretty good, right? Every system works until it doesn't. 100% agree on that. Okay, nice. We're covered there again. We're at 351. Making some tracks. Shoot, just playing around. If we can get another 100, that makes us an 1100. <laughs> That gives us an $1,100 day. So let's see, that's, I think that's maybe four spins. Let's go back and look here at history. That was our fifth spin. Before that we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I lost 
lost count. <laughs> what happened there? That was a seven. Oh, it's a loss. Oh, I didn't realize I had left my bed. I didn't go back down to. Uh, <laughs> I didn't go back down to base bet. I'm a Yahoo. So yeah, we bet 14. <laughs> <laughs> we did three spins at 14. Oh well. I mean, it's 14 bucks. If we were to win on a couple of these, that'd be nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But we didn't win on that one, did we? All right. We're at $56. This would give us a $16 profit. And gives me time to count this up here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we did 17 spins with that last one. Okay, one on that one. Took us back to 325. I don't know if I wanna keep going and risk, how much should we risk? $56. Should we do it or shouldn't we? Nah, I don't wanna do that. Ah, we'll do it. It's 56 bucks. We gotta give it a chance, right? <laughs> oh, and another way that you can tear up at MGM if you wanna to go to Vegas and get free stuff, the easiest way in the world to do that. All right, 341, that's where we're gonna stop. We're gonna do this other one, you go in this case, we're gonna go two units there. We're gonna choose that over laughing corner. One, two, three, four, plus this double street. One, two, and one for an $11 bet. So this is nice if you're playing at a $10 min table. And there's lots of ways you could do it, right? Like you could play $2 for five double streets. That gets you in 10. This is kind of a jackpot. So just so you know, nine and eight, those are partial losses. 12, 11, 10, 7, 27, 26, 28, 28. These are all full losses. 30, 29 is a full loss. 18 is a good kind of a bonus because you're covered here and here on 18. What did we win? We won $18 on $11 bet, so pretty good. The big jackpots are six and five because you're getting an eight to one here and you're getting a five to one on this one. So the six and the five and the 32 and 33, these are your big jackpot numbers. These uh, almost double, I believe double what your bet. So we'll win, we would make $11 on that. We just made $7 when you hit these two middle streets, the 16 through the 21. These up here give you one unit so this is a partial loss. So we bet 11, we get back nine, so we lost $2. So no need to double up. Now when I play this, just for fun, and the, normally the, way, the reason I would play this is I'm just sitting around waiting for friends or I'm taking a break, I'll get some, I'll get some um, singles and just play this. The nice thing is I don't double up even on full losses, two full losses, and then I'll double up. These partial losses, I don't even double up until they equal full loss, which is kind of a lot, or two full losses. So it's kind of nice, you don't even have to, you can stay at this $11 bet. This is another one of those systems that you can sit at a table and you can go in a run, you can go in a loss, but it's easy to stop and you don't lose a lot of money. Okay, so this is a, I can't remember if this is a break even, or 12, we win $1. So what, some, what I've done before too is this isn't a bad system. If you go like this and you want to place a dollar here, basically you hit any of just the normal streets where it's a $1 profit 
you're breaking even a whole bunch of spins. Hits the zero, and you're profiting. You're profiting. You know that's a thirty-five dollar win right here on a zero table versus a double zero table. You'd be winning a seventeen to one, so you'd make eighteen dollars back on eleven dollars. So you'd be, you'd be, get, you'd make seven dollars if it hits the zero double zero. Okay, this is another one that hits these first two, so that's a nice hit for us. So eighteen dollars on eleven dollar, not bad. See, so this is a nice, easy, low roll, low roll, casual. You're going to want to hopefully sit in the middle of the table right here because you're going to have to be reaching all ends of the table. But it's also a good one to play with a friend. You don't have to play in the same strategy, but it's nice if your friend is sitting either in the middle or one or over here. That way you can always toss them to ch these chips and say, hey, and after training them and making sure they have enough drinks in them, you can get them to put those there on demand. But the dealers will help you out. They're, they're usually super, super good about that. And after they see you do it a couple times, they'll place the bets for you, no problem. So nine, that's a partial loss. Now, the cool thing is you can move these around, right? So if you find that it's hitting in here, move this double street to in here or something. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I don't need to double up on those kind of losses. And again, I didn't make this up. I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to remember which channel I saw this on. Maybe it was CEG. I think maybe it was CEG I saw this on there, except I think, I want to say they were using $10 units, but I'm, I think it was $10 units, but this is by no means, this is not mine. I take no credit because it's not due. 23, all right, that's a one unit win. So that's one buck, $12, all right. We're hoping we can hit this here or hit six and five again. 32, 33 would be nice. Or I don't think we've hit six and five yet, have we? No. Nope. This would be nice again. Five, six, 32, 33. Be 11, a whopping $11 win. All right, we're going to play this just for a couple more spins and then we're going to go to the, I, I don't remember, it was on CEG again where they were playing back and forth. And they were using, I believe, $25 units for a, I want to say it was a three, well, it'd be 12 times 25 plus 50 here plus 25 here. 16, look at that. 16 is a $7 win right there. We're at 360 already. Now, the reason why this isn't a great one if you're playing with dollar units is because this is an outside bet on this number two, and they're not going to let you place a $2 bet out here, right? So this isn't a great one unless you're playing, if you're at a $5 minimum or a $10 minimum table, fine, because you can put two units and these all have to be five on the inside. But still, if you're going, if you're trying to stay as close to the min bet as you can and yet play a bunch, that's good. All right, we hit right there. So $14, $15 bet, we win three bucks. And honestly, I can't remember if we're supposed to cover the zero or the two. You could cover the basket like that. You could cover these down here with that extra dollar. I'm just gonna leave it here. I guess if you move this dollar down here and cover that, that, these four numbers here, I um, mean, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a losing bet, right? Three numbers pays five to one on these three, covering four numbers. Where we will, it'll be a partial loss. That's why I almost don't like covering it. I'd rather it hit here and have a win and a full loss rather than a partial loss on all these. Oh, and there was a two. We would have had the two here and here. We would have. I mean, we got it there a little bit, but not bad. We win thirty-three dollars. All right, on a fifteen-dollar bet. But again, I'm gonna move this right here that would have been an even bigger jackpot on the two not complaining so we're at 381 shazam zero would be a nice hit because remember the two we're not only hitting this split we're not only hitting this split but we got this 
second column covered with two. It's kind of fun, right? Just messing around here at the end, no stress. Now there's a there's a donk. Now we got a double. Okay, we're up. We're betting thirty dollars now. Okay. All right, our goal is four hundred dollars. Is what I'd like to get up to. If we're struggling here, we'll stop and go back, and maybe I'll just play Nine Streets again real quick. Or you know what? We'll bop, pop over to the other server and risk. Yeah. Like I said, normally I play $25 for five double streets. That gets you, that's 125 bet to win 25, and then I bet $5 after it. We lose one, that would kind of suck. But if we can get up 100 real hurry here. All right, there we go. So that's a $30, you know, we win 36. So that's a $6 win. The last one, you know, we've got to bet 15, so doesn't even recover when we do that. We're hoping for something here in the middle. That's what we're hoping for, the second column. You could, if you wanted to, you could put, instead of alternating, you can put them all on these splits here. You know, So if you don't think one column's hitting, you don't have to alternate. You could put them all on one side or the other. I like to give you options, right? 23. All right, there. We're right here in the middle. Look at that. $48. Look at that. Booyah. So what I hate about this is we haven't said as a... Oops. We're not going to make it. Oh, well. We got them all covered. We just won't get any... Now's the time when the zero, the two is going to hit. <laughs> that was a good hit. Now I caution you. This thing is like, oh yeah, this is, no. I played this for a while and it was one of those where I was going, man, this is, this is killing it. Look at, oh, see, we would have done better if we had the thing there. But we still won 18 bucks. Look at that. Out of 12. So it was a $6. I go there. I go here. I mean, if you get lucky and you start hitting, but I've been to the casino where I've played this on a live dealer table in a brick and mortar using $5 units. And man, if you don't think it could hit any of these uncovered numbers over and over and over, it can, it did. And it's pretty expensive, right? I mean, you're putting $5 down, that's 60, $75. That's a $75 bet. You start doubling that thing up, whew. All right, we hit there. That's all right. Another 18. Look at that. We're at 399. This is actually kind of fun with one dollars. I like this. In fact, I'm gonna do this. Save the last play. And what are we gonna call this thing? I think they call. Was this the Holy Splits or something? Let's just call. I don't know if it's the Holy Splits or not, but we're gonna call it Holy Splits. Ugh, gotta delete all those because it's showing you all the bets. And we'll call it $15. Nice thing about that then in the future is if we double up, we can just go back here and do it. Oh, look at that, two. Bonanza. $15 bet, $42 win. Boo fucking ya. Yeah. Did I say we're going to stop at 400? Fuck that. We're going to go to 500 now. That'd be $1,200. $1,200 day. All right, we're at 47 minutes. This is going to be another it's going to be another 2-hour video. So yeah, if anybody I don't want to go look at CEG and find this one, but if you know what it is, I think it's called the Holy Splits, but it may be something else, and I'm pretty damn sure they're betting $25 here, 50 here, and 25 here. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty hefty, uh, 
bet, and I think they were talking about you win three times and you're out or something. All right. We're hoping for another another zero or two. Well, I guess zero is the same as, right? Zero is the same as hitting any of the these out here. These are all paying 17 to one. This is paying 17. So the zero is the same, but the two and anything in the second column, especially the two, but everything in the second column is the same. We got here 29. All right, that's what we're talking about. Second column. Twenty-four dollars. This is fun. I think, <laughs> I think of a slow grind, and again, it could be really shitty luck. But because of the low base bet here, you can really afford to double, double, double up a bunch of times. This may be a new, fun, slow grow, uh, grind rather than the 9th Street. The only reason I say that is because even though the 9th Street is my is my go-to, you know, money spot, it, this breaks up the monotony. If I've been playing the 9 the nine for the money making, when I get it, it's, it's a nice change of pace. I'm sure for you all watching this, you're like, yeah, thank God he's playing something different. Look at that, second time in a row. we're talking about nine dollar win right there we'll take it you know the best thing about boss lady going to visit with her family coming home I get to hear her rant for a while <laughs> with her frustration because heaven knows she hears me rant enough about my roulette time right <laughs> all right there's a loss there's a full loss that's all right let's double up see how we go hopefully we don't have to double up again that puts us at sixty dollars and i don't know if i'm going to do that or not i don't know if i want to have to chase we're up at 432 i'm more than happy right now we're at a thousand thirty two right no uh yeah no we're at eleven hundred and thirty two dollars yeah why not we're up we're above our thousand by 132 let's let's see if we can double this thing up and i really would love to get to 12 a twelve hundred dollar day today oh and no see this is what i'm talking about it, you, you think you get the illusion that you're covering a lot in reality you're still missing right you're still missing 12 full numbers this is essentially playing two dozen with some jackpots so these are why these are these can be very misleading to me when you're playing these kind of bets it feels like you're covering the entire board how can i possibly miss when in reality you're playing two dozen with a little bit of bonus you know, a little less on these, a little bit more on these. But in, in essence, you're playing two dozen. It's just spread out. Speaking of two dozen, you know, when you watch like the roulette master or whatever, and they're talking about switching dozens. All right, at least we won that one. What should we get that one? $72? Big whopping twelve dollars. So we really need this second here. But if you're going to go off the premise that you're moving your dozens because oh well, I've seen one dozen hit, and we've talked about this before, then just pick pick a double street here, pick a double street here, pick a double street here, and then choose one fourth double street that splits them. You've got you're covering two dozens, but you're covering across the three dozens. So then there's no worrying about hitting in one dozen more times than another. I don't know, just makes sense to me. Or maybe you cover, see, starting from the 7th street all the way to the, like the 28th street. Now that's what we needed, look at that. We hit right in the middle, I don't even know what, $96? What did that win us, 60? That's a $36 win. 
Let's go back to holy splits at the beginning. So that's 450. I don't remember. What was our highest? Was it 450? Oh, no, that just gave us a new high. We were at 447. So that one hit, that one hit took us all the way back up. Nice. Okay. We're going to conclude this here. One more, one more win, whether it's an outside or an inside. We're going to stop this. And there it is. Well, let's get up to 460 or, or an even number at 460. But I don't want to drag this on. And then we're going to go over to five double streets and see if we can take this thing home up to $500. In the interest of science, I mean, we're doing this for science. This is all experimentation. I had written down some of the other suggested strategies and I'm willing to do it. I'll, I'll get my list again and we'll start trying to do this. If we get up early, we'll start to trying to make a go out of either trying one or two systems at a time and just playing it through like this with low money and see how well they do. All right, that's another win. Three bucks more. I should have restart. I should on each of these have reset the graph so we could see how each one was doing. Next time. The summer concert lists are already coming out for the different venues around here. Nothing so far. Would love to go see Chris Stapleton again, John Party. I always see I'm a perennial every time Three Doors Down comes anywhere close to here, I'm there. All right, there we hit again. That's 59. We need one more dollar. This will get us over that, and then we're going to head out. This would get us the 462, and then we'll go over. And I'm still debating whether I'll just bet $5 double streets for five double streets, or I'll go for it and bet 25, and then start betting five after that to cover after our first win. Come on now. God, I saw Candlebox came with three doors down last time. I mean, Candlebox is old. They sounded effing phenomenal. All right, there's a middle hit. Nice. 68. We're going to call it good with that, and we're going to move over. That, was, that, one, that one rocked. All right, we're going to come. If I can get this table loaded up. It sometimes loads up. It sometimes doesn't. Let me give it a couple tries. I'm going to put you on pause until I get in. Okay, we got in. Let's see here. We'll start with $5 double streets. There we go. I don't want to risk going to 25 just yet. Let's get rid of these things. I don't care about history. That was a loss there. That was a loss there. Lost. And this is not a good. <laughs> There's a lot of losses for the double streets that we're choosing. Let's see, what about 19 through 24? Yeah, maybe we moved to 19 through 24, but there's a win. All right. This isn't resetting, whatever. Oh, there it reset, finally. I'm not gonna risk 25. Let's just keep going five and see if we can get lucky and then we'll go ahead and double up if we lose on it, but let's see if we can get up to 500 here in a couple spins. Maybe I might bump it up to $10. But I like, I would I would have switched right now to 19 to leave 19 through 23 open. So we'll see if that plays out. 19 to 23 hasn't hit forever, so that means maybe it will. Oh, see? Look at that. Okay. 478. We'll keep going a couple more. So this is a table, again, if you go look at the, the stakes, I mean, a street $5,000 max play. I mean, 
you can come here and play one dollar whether you want to play nine streets whatever you can play one dollar for nine streets and double the out of this thing and you will win i mean <laughs> i'll try that next time we're up like this i'll come and we'll just play one dollar for nine streets nine dollar bet and just double no matter what because you're not going to run out of leg room here all right we're at 483 we basically need four more wins but that's three wins right which means if we do lose one we can double up once and we be breaking even but this is a five to one ratio remember five wins for every every loss so that's it's pretty steep but we're cruising Four eighty-eight. I'm hoping we can get it because we're at fifty-nine minutes right now. So I'd like to keep this, you know, just around the hour mark. It's nine o'clock. I like to take a shower, sit down, and vegetate for a little while without thinking. Get energized up before boss lady comes home and unloads on me with her frustrations, which is fair. Oh man, oh, did you see that? That was wild. I don't know if we had a, I don't know if it was a delay. It looked like it firmly landed in two and then at the last minute just popped out. I'll have to go back and watch that on video. That looked insane. I don't know, maybe I wasn't paying attention or maybe there was just a delay in the, in the filming. Or that we didn't have some smooth streaming, but I could have sworn that it had just settled into two and was there for like a second and then popped out. This is going to give the um, conspiracy theory, magnet theorists, theorists some good ammo. That's what we're talking about. Crushing it. I mean, this has been an exceptional day. I, I'm glad you were all along for the ride. And you know what? It's those, those positive words of encouragement that we've got this. Keep going. Don't listen to the naysayers. I mean, that, seriously, that keeps, that, that means a lot. And I, I'm, I'm confident. I know what I'm doing. And even then, you know, you can just, those, those hard days, even though it's, I know they still kind of get your dick in the dirt. So I appreciate the belief and the motivation. It means a lot to me. Thank you. All right, here we go. This will be our last play if we win. And we are going to win. We just crushed it. $503 is what this balance should show. And there it is. And we're done. Let's go update our... We're at 12,659. Actually, what I'm gonna do is go to the VIP. I'm gonna to go to the rake back. Let's clear this out, claim the rake back. 12,677, we're gonna to go to the fake table real quick. Show you what I do, 10 cents. Go down here, set it to instant play so it just shows get rid of animation. We're gonna put 10, I'm gonna refresh this so we can see the win loss. 10 cents on high win win that's unusual there win now that i told you it does a bunch on the other now it's going to prove me wrong <laughs> that's all right i'll take it yeah whatever pal all right 76 we need two more wins at this level. There we go. We're gonna clear this out and we need four cents. Oops, I forgot to double. There we go. Mofo, we went over too high. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. I don't wanna keep you here this long, but I'm gonna go uh, 10 cents. 
Let's just start going. We need, gosh, we need a bunch. Whatever. Thirty-three. Fifty-three. We have to get up to some cents here. All right, that's fifty-five, and we want to get up to five cents. Okay, let's double that. Now we need four wins. No, we need two wins. One win. There we are, 12, six, seven, nine. Let's see where that puts us for the day, 12,679. 12,679, and drum roll, $1,226 day today. We kicked ass, good job. We've done well, and look at our daily average is already up to 204. We're gonna be up to, we're gonna catch up to our $300 bounce in a fucking hurry. So sit down, put your seat belts back on, close the door, roll up the window. This ride is far from fucking over, naysayers. <laughs> you motivate me almost as much as the rest of you that have positive vibes. Thank you. We will see you tomorrow for more of this goodness. All right, be good humans. Good luck on the table. Cheers.